Hello gentlemen and ladies, it's Knife Detector here and and I'm trying to make this video in natural light. So I want to see how it goes with this natural sunlight coming in from my kitchen window and uh, I'm going to try something a little differently with that light. And of course I can't have that light in the evening when I make most of my videos but uh, I got some time right now. So I'm noticing that right now my channel is getting quite a bit of views so I figure I don't have another video scheduled till I think Monday or Tuesday, but since uh, a lot of you guys are watching my channel right now, I figured let me just go ahead and pump one out real quick for you guys. So the sheath you're seeing here is just a sheath that I threw together for a knife once because honestly I, I needed a sheath for it and I didn't have one, so I just threw this together with some rivets, right? But that's not the point of the video. Uh, the point of the video is just a conversation and also to show you this knife that uh, I got at a flea market before COVID and uh, wanted to show that to you guys. What do you do, ask you a question too, what do you do when, you know, you have a little bit of knife making skills and uh, you got some grinding skills and uh, you have a few tools and you need to make some extra cash for your family? Well, that was the case with uh, a gentleman at a flea market I came across and and uh, before COVID you know I would go to the flea markets quite often and I did see him there a couple of times and I didn't have enough cash I'd already spent my flea market cash but I had a a knife actually I had a stag marbles uh, jumbo trapper uh, that I had bought paid about 20 bucks for it 22 bucks for it and then I had just bought it and I was taking it out for a spin in my uh, my sheath and then all of a sudden I came across this vendor and and I admired uh, his situation and his craftsmanship, you know, that uh, he was actually doing something with his hands to try and support himself. So I didn't get his name, unfortunately. We talked very briefly. I had to leave, unfortunately. But, you know, I decided, I told him, well, hey, I don't have any cash. You want to make a trade? Because sometimes when I go to the flea market, guys, I take uh, two knives, one to carry and one to trade, just in case I see something that tickles my fancy. And in this particular case, I saw this guy. It's a very simple design, as you can see. Uh, the blade is probably, oh, one, two, maybe three inches long. Perfect for skinning. You know, it's very light, doesn't take up a lot of weight. But this guy made this knife out of some form of steel. I'm assuming it's 440 stainless. Um, he just used some simple paracord to fashion a handle. But let me tell you, it fits perfectly in the hand and uh, real comfortable. You're not going to lose grip with that paracord. That's for darn sure. And I admire somebody who can come up with something like this to try and help their family. And and so he took my trade. He, he liked my knife and he was having an okay day. I think he was selling quite a bit of things at the time. And this is in the Alamo flea market in Alamo, Texas. And he took me up on my offer and we both made a trade and that's happened to me many times where I make trades with guys at flea markets or ladies and uh, we come out with mutual benefit and we both make a good trade I love doing that and he took me up on it you know I think he kept the knife the marbles knife for his own personal use and I came away with this handmade one-of-a-kind gem that he made himself it is pretty sharp um, you know it's gonna get the job done this is nice when you have to go on the campsite uh, and you don't want something too heavy on your pack. This knife guy seriously just weighs probably if I had to guess a couple of ounces Maybe I don't have my scale with me right now, but it is very light uh, with simple paracord kit handle uh, Nothing major. I kind of wonder where he got the steel for it. I should have asked him uh, I didn't though he had a lot of really cool kitchen knives that he made too. big kitchen knives butcher knives and he had this little guy and I wanted to show it to you, you know, these things are out there. People are making things with their hands. And I, I've done that a few times, you know. You guys can do it too. Uh, be careful, you know, if you have questions on how to use power tools and things like that, grinders and stuff, you know, go ahead and, and get that information from from uh, people you trust, right? But this is something that that is a good thing to get into if you want to do something with your hands and you want to create something that came from inside you, something that was inside your heart, inside your mind, and you want to create something and bring it out, bring it forth into the world, right? And that's what this guy did, you know? He brought an idea, a design he had in his mind, and he brought it forth into the world. You know, I'll bet you if you go to uh, several different knife websites and knife dealers, you're going to see something that looks like this 
it's a small knife, but it's not going to have that same curve, probably won't have that same steel, and definitely probably won't have that type of handle, you know, and uh, this came from him. So I admire that when somebody can do that and produce something out of nothing. And I wanted to show it to you guys today. Uh, just a quickie video on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday afternoon. I uh, wanted to throw up another video. So I'm going to upload this ASAP for you guys. Hope you guys are having a blessed weekend. Take care. God bless you, my friends. Remember, keep your knives sharp, but keep your wits even sharper.